Ladies and gentlemen, Joanne Lavelle is my name and you're very welcome to number 22 Belfry Avenue. This is a very popular development and neighbourhood which is located right beside Dundalk's Town Centre and you are simply within walking distance of everything. So today I'm here to do the virtual viewing for you and um, we'll take a look inside the house now. So firstly to the development itself, Belfry is a very popular neighbourhood. It's a very well maintained, nice, quiet development. All of the houses are either detached or semi-detached. So um, I can certainly say this is what I would call a development with no surprises. It's really smart and really good quality property. You can see there it's a semi-detached property, very nicely finished, and it's double fronted. The big opportunity in Belfry is that you're getting four great sized bedrooms and two reception rooms. So we're going to go and take a look inside now. I really like the front on it, uh, combination dry dash and red brick, which is very smart. And inside into the hallway, this house you'll see as we go through really good condition throughout okay and the next buyer is really going to have absolutely no work to do or no surprises in terms of um, making this house their own so in the hallway and through into the the kitchen diner beyond you can see it's a wooden floor lovely bright hallway a nice radiator cabinetry there and staircase into my right and you'll see the wooden floor continues through into the first reception room, which is, as you can see, laid out as a children's playroom. Now, obviously, your second reception room is a big bonus, whether you need a playroom for little children, whether you need a den for bigger children, or whether you need a nice closed off work from home space for the grown ups in the house. But this is a lovely room. It's out onto the front of the house. And as I say, it's really in very nice condition throughout. So over on the other side of the hallway, we're into the drawing room, to the living room. This is a lovely room. A couple of things to point out. In the first instance, there's lovely proportions in this room. You can see there, there's plenty of room for a sofa suite. It's always important to point that out. Lovely fireplace there. It's an open solid fuel fire. A nice contemporary wooden fireplace and a cast iron curved inset. And then there's your fireplace there. Okay. Nice um, wallpaper chimney rest as well. Really, really smart. So the double doors here are going to lead us through to the kitchen diner. And the kitchen diner runs the full uh, width of the house. Lovely big room. And here we are. So you'll see in practical terms, the wooden floor continues for the dining section of the room and then a more practical tiled floor in the kitchen. And nicely sort of zoned between the two spaces. And you can see there, that's a good big dining suite and there's plenty of room for it. Um, it's always good to see a dining area that's able to take um, a big dining table and chairs. So that's the room from that angle. Now, into the kitchen to point out a few important features there. Uh, lovely wooden kitchen units. And you'll see here, for example, this has an integrated dishwasher. Um, um, you have over there an integrated oven, hob and a stainless steel canopy overhead. Tiled splashback. Nice up lighting underneath. You can see that there. All right. And then over to the right, uh, you have an integrated fridge freezer and also deeper pot drawers here beside the oven. So it's a good kitchen in terms of there's a great amount of storage space and there's also a really good amount of uh, work surface space. And the kitchen looks out over the back garden. You see it's a lovely sunny day today so it's a nice day for showing you that. Just off the kitchen I'll give you a quick peep at the utility room. So in the utility room you have the controls obviously for the heating and you also have now, must tell you about this, that's a really um, recently upgraded boiler. It also means that in addition to having a very efficient boiler system, you also have a great BER, which will be included with these details. So that's the utility room. I always say a utility room has to be big enough to accommodate whatever you need to throw out of the way if the doorbell rings, and that utility room definitely provides that. Now we'll just come back into focus here. And then we're going to go on up to look upstairs. 
Before we do that, just give a quick completion on the ground floor accommodation. Really smart guest toilet here. Um, it's, for me, the test of the guest bathroom is, is it a space that you'll be happy for your guests to use? And that definitely um, is a space that is lovely for your guests to use. So now we're going on upstairs, lovely neutral oatmeal carpet here, as well, as I say, there's really nothing to be done to this property. Um, four bedrooms, all are doubles. You will see though with one of them, it's got a current temporary different use. So this is the, what we'll call the main bedroom. Um, it's a good big room. You can see there, there's plenty of space for storage. That's a very big bed. Looks like a, a, a super king, if not a king. And, you know, space for a full suite of furniture. And then off that, we have the ensuite. So the ensuite has your electric shower there, fully tiled uh, shower area. Okay. And nice, nice, very simple look in the ensuite. Very easy to live with. Okay. Then we go on to the next bedroom. Now the next bedroom has been adapted um, into a walk-in wardrobe. Uh, high envy factor here so um, and it's also being used very much as a work from home space there as you can see so um, it's good when you have the fourth bedroom if you don't need the fourth bed that it's there that it's able to um, provide for other purposes within the family and that's a good example of that I'm moving on now into the main bathroom um, I always think the bathrooms in Belfry are great size in this one you can see it to good effect it's got a separate shower there uh, to the bath and there's lovely panelling around the bathroom and tiled floor. So a lovely family bathroom, very practical and a good size. And now into the next bedroom. It's a really sweet, dusty pink room for the little lady in the house. Um, sort of a clip floor here, laminate clip floor. And you can see there, I mean, it's a very spacious double room. Plenty of room for furniture. Okay, and then we'll go into the fourth bedroom. Oh, one more thing I want to show you about Belfry. They all have this really lovely, very wide, very deep hot press. And there's your water tank. Um, but it's great. That's behind double doors there. And you can never have enough hot press space. And there's loads of space there. Now, so the fourth bedroom, again, a double room. This lovely uh, sort of a duck egg blue color. There's a little man in the house and you can see there, obviously it's laid out as a nursery now, but it is a lovely double room. Now we are down at the end of, near the end of a little cul-de-sac here in Belfry Avenue. So it means that it's a nice quiet little spot as well. Now I think we'll go and have a look downstairs in the back garden. That's a really nice entrance hallway. Now, lovely, lovely back garden. Summer's on the way. So it's now coming up to midday. It's half past 11 in the morning. Okay. And the back garden is full of sunshine. That's the rear elevation of the property. Lovely, neat home. So that is the house that I'm here to show you. I hope that you found that to be of use. And uh, we are, of course, able to do viewings as normal now, but I do still think that the virtual viewing is important to give you a taster for what you can expect from this property. So I hope that you found the virtual viewing to be of use and of interest. And if you would like to get some further information and if you would like to arrange a viewing, well, we'll be delighted to arrange that for you. So in the meantime, enjoy that bit of sunshine and um, perhaps we'll see you in Belfry very soon. Thank you very much.